For those of us who are people of faith, for those of us who are spiritual but not religious, for those of us who acknowledge a higher power, and for those of us who believe we are each other's keepers and have a responsibility to protect one another and especially to protect the children and the vulnerable, let us take a moment to be aware of our grief. Our grief for the children of Sandy Hook, our grief for the children of Washington, D.C., who experience gun violence and its fear day by day. Our grief for the 148,000 children of America who have died from gun violence since 1968. We weep for America's children. Let us be aware of those who oppose gun control most of us do not understand those who love assault weapons and who lust for arsenals. Some may be our relatives, some may be our neighbors. We pray for them today. Let us be aware that we are standing midway between Congress and the White House. I would invite you to raise your hand and we pray, O oh God, that you would pour out your Holy Spirit on President Obama and Vice President Biden, that they may lead us to make our nation safe for our children. Grant them the will to resist all pressures that would weaken their stand. Grant them to use all the powers of their office on behalf of the safety of children and of all people. When I went on to lead the Chicago Public Schools, we buried a child due to gun violence every two weeks. Think about that. Every two weeks, we lost a child to gun violence. And people like to say that gangbangers, whatever, is simply not true. This was Starkeisha Reed, who at 7.30 in the morning, in her living room, getting ready for school, was shot by an AK-47. This is Blair Holt at 2.30 in the afternoon, on the bus, on the way home from school, getting shot. So this is about trying to create a climate in which our children can grow up free of fear. I kept on the wall behind my desk a, uh, a drawing that one of my students did for me. It's a picture paper as a fireman. In his caption, he wrote on it, he wrote, If I grow up, I want to be a fireman. If I grow up. Only the signs that have to do with people who have died from acts of gun violence. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. And we remember, and we will remember every day. After all of our sadness and disgust and distress, depression and despondency over the assassination of 20 of our kids and those who cared for them, we are all culpable if we do nothing now. No more moaning. It's time to do something about it. Today, today we join the great majority of Americans who want to move this country uh, off of the outskirts of civilization into the civilized world of nations who protect their children. <laughs>